This tutorial shows how to process a multi-valued attribute. This spreadsheet of hotel records contains a column services, which is a comma separated list of service code. And the tutorial is going to use the Thailand component T normalize to break apart that services column and write out records for each service value that's found in that column. This is Open Studio and I'm starting with a job called Hotel Service Test. I'm going to add my Excel source to the canvas. I'm going to add a T normalize component. I'm going to add a T filter columns component. And then lastly, I'll add a log row component so we can verify the output. Do a straightforward connect of each component's main from source to target, left to right. In the normalized mapping, we'll synchronize the columns. The column we want to normalize is not brand, but rather we will synchronize on the services column. The comma is the item separator. Now we'll check the schema. In the filters column table, we'll reduce the set of columns we'll be viewing. taking only hotel name and services. And the change is propagated to log row. Run the job. And you'll see now that for each of the hotel records, we now have actually several output records being written. In the case of the spreadsheet, we start with a record called McLean Hotel Miami, and we're expecting seven services records to be written out. This is despite that there is only one input record for this spreadsheet. And sure enough, here are the seven. So in a pretty simple function, we've got something that takes an input file and processes it row by row, parsing out the multi-valued attribute list of services, and then logs that output as a two-column entity. Now those values, they can be used in lookup functions via a tmap, and they can be written out to a relational table. So this is something that would make a great second pass on this input file to hook up, say, a normalized um, services record.